As hard as they can, they're going to go with the, with a 5,000 pound rocket here in just a few minutes, traveling at one and a half says one and a half miles per second. And when they do, they expect this massive explosion to come up off the surface of the moon, and they're expecting dust and rock and debris. But what they're really looking for is it more than hydrogen. Are they in fact going to be seeing large quantities of ice right. come up? It's about to happen in like five seconds. Let's, Let's keep our eyes on NASA's photos. Here are images. November, correct? On Confirm. The near infrared uh, camera. Bob send NIR 1 to OPR 9. Copy, sending command. We're going to an infrared shot. Mark, Centaur impact. That was an announcement by the flight director that the uh, center impact should have. Uh, flight should have confirm receipt of uh, command, over. Whoa! Took me so long. Took me so long to realize it's you. of craters. It wasn't until Galileo pointed a telescope at the moon in 1609 that we got the first close look at its features. The moon orbits the Earth like the Earth orbits the Sun. Since the moon doesn't shine on its own but only reflects light from the Sun, we see more or less of it during its monthly revolution depending on its position. We call these varying views phases. When the moon is on the far side of the Earth, away from the sun, the moon is fully illuminated or full. As the moon travels around the Earth, we can only see the sunlight falling on part of it, resulting in crescent moons and half moons. When the moon is directly between the Earth and the sun, light falls on the far side of the moon. Whoa, oh, oh. Took me so long Took me so long to
doesn't work out like 